Rated PG-13. Here we go. Anyways, guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer. Thank you guys for tuning in at twitch.tv slash the Middle Age Gamer and on YouTube for the live stream. We are playing Railway Empire, and we're going to end up doing the campaign mode on Chapter 3. And we're, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to go for the President's Medal, if you didn't hear me already. So it's this little fancy icon saying you've done the most you could possibly do on that chapter. I don't have it on Chapter 3. Um... I did complete it at level 29 out of 30 because I forgot to connect to a city, but that's neither here or there. I haven't played this, I guess, uh, campaign mission or chapter in Jesus, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks. So I'm kind of going into it fresh. I'm going to restart everything. I don't know if I'm going to start with just doing freight and work my way to passenger, doing it combined, but we'll figure it out. So. Twitch is greater than YouTube. You know what's weird? I've been watching a lot of Call of Duty, and I always watch YouTube streamers, which is really weird. I've been watching, uh, was it Thin or Thin HD or Thin, whatever they call them, and a few other ones play Call of Duty. The, rest are just gold the one thing I don't like about this game is you can't change your character. I've said that multiple, multiple times. I really hate that. Am I recording or no? Okay, I'm not recording. Oh, I can't record because the index encoder. Okay, well, anyways, live streaming it, so hopefully it's saving it to, to YouTube. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can download the video and edit it. If not, I'll re-record it offline. Either way. Anyways, I hate using this guy. I don't like the perks because I, you know, I don't use the manufacturer or doing the backhanded deals very often. Doesn't really come into play until later in the game, so I think it makes it intentionally harder starting off with that character. The economic upswing allowed the yeah, maybe I need to use OBS Crusher. I've always been against it. I like I like pain for things. I don't know why. I've always heard OBS is free. Yeah, I hear you. I just I hate moving over now because I have everything set up. Well, not everything, but I have a lot of things set up with XSplit, so it's hard for me to basically move at this point. What up, Coaster? How's it going, man? Let the video play out just for a second, since we got some time. <laughs> there are things I have not paid for. Okay. If there's a program out there that's a hundred bucks for me to edit something, I probably have not paid for it. Although I'm sure I've spent a hundred dollars on XSplit already, paying for the monthly fee or the, the. I think they do it every three months on their on their end. So you're the crazy one who wants to build the trans. Right, I'm just gonna pause the game to kind of look around. So it looks like we're starting in Toledo. And we have Grand Rapids, Indianapolis, going up to Chicago. Ooh, Chicago's definitely big. Okay, so we need to reach a population of 100,000 in Toledo, and we need to connect the 10 rural businesses by 1854. We're in 1850 right now. And this does produce meat, which is important. Uh, we have a ranch right there, and we can basically deliver meat to all these surrounding cities. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to, I think, leave this train station and build a warehouse to just do basically freight is what we're going to do. So it's going to be a big warehouse. I don't know if I want to go through the back. Can I do it back here anywhere? That'd be nice. No. Hmm. Trying to figure out what would be best. So we have a lot of freight on both sides. I kind of want to move. Let me move this building right here. Oh, God. I'm going to rebuild that station as far over as possible. And then I'm going to build the warehouse, hopefully down here. No, it still doesn't work because that's a circle right there. Decisions, decisions. I don't want everything running into one station. I could do that, but I don't want to. Hmm. 
Hmm. What if we did a smaller warehouse on each side? That might work. We can always upgrade it. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do a small warehouse on each side. Or at least a small one on this side is what I should say. And we can always upgrade it. Uh, first thing I want to do is to basically... Ooh, SnowRunner. I've been wanting to play SnowRunner. I have not played it as of yet, but that is uh, one of my all-time favorite games. That whole series, so I, I do want to do it. So I want to construct a maintenance building here, and then we're going to set up a... Let's see... I'm going to do a regular train station here. Run tracks. Again, I haven't played this chapter in a while, and I haven't played it this way either, so... This could go south pretty quick. I'm hoping it doesn't. Basically, we're setting up meat to be delivered, or cows to be delivered to make the meat. Is what we're doing right now. Yeah, Crusher, I remember playing with you guys. I think it'd be cool to do that again, honestly, on stream. Those missions can be really super long on that game. That's kind of the fun part of it. Before I do that, let's make one supply tower in the middle. Then we'll do the signaling. Okay. Oh, before we do that... I need to make sure the warehouse accepts the meat coming in. We'll also accept the corn as well. Okay, let's set up... How do I... There we go. We want to do freight only. Go ahead and add a locomotive. We only have one to add. Or is the train supposed to fly over the Mississippi? Hey, what up, Jones? How's it going, man? Ongoing. But that's a long story. Sure, the network is somewhat... So I think we're building on the scenario of what David was saying is... Basically in Toledo, Ohio, we're moving... Um, it'd be west. Towards Omaha, Nebraska is where we're moving. So that's how the, the map's actually laid out. 14 of 19. I'm going to go ahead and run two trains. Maybe a little bit of overkill. Next thing you want to do is we need to get trains out of Toledo to deliver this meat that's here for export. Is kind of what we need to do next. So I'm going to go ahead and build another train station in Indianapolis first off. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. And I hate running multiple tracks, but this is what we have to do. I would like to use the same track. You could also start this mission off with basically deleting this station in Toledo and making a huge station there and having basically freight and everything go through one station. But I'm trying to keep things separate, if at all possible. We'll see how that works out for me. I could go bankrupt relatively quickly and have to restart the scenario, but my hope is that doesn't happen. So I'm just going to check how I'm laying the tracks at both stations first. Very important. We're going to go ahead and set the signaling up. Going both ways. Actually, let me do the supply tower first. I'm going to put in two supply towers. Then add the signals on the track. If you guys watched my other chapter videos, this is all pretty repetitive, but... A lot of you guys have never played this game, so I'm just letting you know what I'm doing as I go. Alright. And we do need to add a where not a warehouse, but a maintenance building at one of these stations. Let's go ahead and set up a new line. And go from Toledo to Indianapolis. I'm going to leave it as automatic. It will probably do freight right now and switch over to passengers as needed. But leaving that automatic is important. There we go. It's all going to be all meat right now. 
<clears throat> Next thing I want to do is I do want to bring corn down here because this, this city does need corn. And I'm just going to make a small train station here. Actually, let's make a big one because we'll end up bringing corn other places too. Let's do right there. Should be good. And I want to follow the same policy on this. Just crisscrossing the tracks in case it does need to switch sides for any reason. I'm not going to put a supply tower there because it will hit the supply tower down here. And I've already set up the warehouse to accept the corn, so it will deliver. I'm make freight only, add the locomotive on there. And you can see it's loading up with corn, which is what's important. I'm going to copy this train. So we have two running back and forth. It may be overkill. But I know we still have passengers that have to go back and forth as well. So let's go ahead and clone that. Again, it's full of meat again, which is fine. Okay, what else can we do? I know Toledo is going to need grain, which is right here. So we could do that. Let's see. Yeah, it definitely needs grain. It also needs logs for the sawmill it just built. I don't know how far that would... Looks like it's all the way out here. And I could run grain to the back, or I could start another warehouse on this side of Toledo if I wanted to. I may do that down the road because it's fairly expensive. Let's go ahead and run one grain train to Toledo. Again, our whole goal right now, we got to connect the 10 rural businesses. That's number one. And we got to reach a population of 100,000 in Toledo. Well, to get the population to go up, you have to basically get Toledo with all these items coming in to raise the population. doesn't matter how many cities you connect to, you have to have the goods going to that city. So let's go ahead and do another small train station here. I can always upgrade it if I need to. Let's see if I can run this around here. going to be close. I just want to run it right to there. There we go. And I do like running dual tracks even to a single station or a single track station I should say. That way if I ever upgrade it it makes things relatively easy. So we do need a supply tower on here. Just somewhere in the middle. Let's set up our signaling again. Good. Coal Manor to Warehouse. Uh, okay. One thing we didn't do is I need to add grain coming into here. So I need to add that to the warehouse. And I do want to edit the line. I want to make sure it's freight only, even though that's all it can take, basically. But that, that's going to reload up with grain. All right, so now we have meat, corn, and grain coming in. I don't want to reduce the innovation points that we are getting for research, so we're not going to do that, and I don't need to mediate at this point. Okay, so that's coming back with just passengers. So not really making a whole lot of money coming back, but I wonder what they're going to leave with from Toledo. And eventually I may reroute this train to like Louisville or somewhere else if I need to. 
So the other thing about Indianapolis is if we can get grain to make the beer, which there's one right here, that is probably what we need to do. That way it will deliver beer uh, down to Toledo, and Toledo will deliver, deliver meat up there. Okay, so that's going good. Let's look at Lee Ranch. Maybe overkill on that for now. Plenty of corn going there. So we're doing pretty good so far. We just need to keep trying to expand with what money we have. Let's go ahead and let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and connect to Louisville right here and have one of these trains go from Toledo to Louisville. Just another place where we can deliver, deliver meat so we're not overloading this town with meat, so to speak. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do a small train station for now. can always upgrade it. And then we're going to connect it to... We'll connect it right there. I think I'm going to connect it right here, though. supply tower on this portion and let's go ahead and set up the signals Okay. Okay, random breakdown. That's not good. Okay, so I think I'm going to change. That oh, guy's already left, huh? Okay, no. Let's change this guy because you can see it's running with nothing at this point. So we are actually, let's just delete the train. We can reset it up. Luckily, we get a credit for doing that. So let's go ahead and set up a new line from Toledo to Louisville. I'm gonna leave it automatic so it does run freight and passengers together. You can see it's filling up with meat because Indianapolis is already kind of overloaded with meat. So we're transporting what we're producing down here in Toledo up there. I think the next step is I really want to get grain coming into Indianapolis and I want to separate it with a small warehouse if at all possible just so we can keep that line completely separate. So let's see, I know we're going to end up burning some money. Let's use just a regular warehouse here. Thank you for the host James, definitely appreciate it. And what's up? I just saw you said, hey, sorry about that. Put a spur on the Indianapolis side to Louisville. Indianapolis side to Louisville. Indianapolis side. Oh, like a little, I guess, track coming up right there. Yeah, I can do that here in a minute. That. I want to make just a small station for now right here. Because I think this line will get pretty big if we deliver beer everywhere is the plan again could be overkill but we'll see what happens I'm running out of money quick which is not good actually you know what I think I'm gonna run dual track the whole way if I have the money to do it. Let's see how much it cost. Uh, not that much. 
The problem with separating this, I usually don't do this, especially this early in the game, is it costs more money to have multiple supply towers for one. But also, the other big thing is the the uh, maintenance building. It's 80000 It's a lot of money starting off. Alright, I'm going to do the signals real quick, and we can go ahead and add the train. I'll add that spur here in a minute too, but that's not my major priority right now. Yeah, David, uh, this is very much like Railroad Tycoon 2. It actually brings back kind of fond memories of those games. And it's just as hard as both of those games. You know, I've played like the Sid Meier's Railroads and a few other games. But this one is actually pretty difficult, especially starting off till you get a hang of it. Look like that. Alright, let's go ahead and bring grain. Make this freight only. Let's go ahead and add the locomotive. And we do have 100 research points. Let's see. We can add express lines or we can increase the profits of our factories. We don't have any factories. Let's go ahead and add express lines. That's fine. So that will actually end up making beer here at the factory. And my hope is the beer will get transferred down to Toledo, which it will supply what they need because they have zero beer in town that's not a good thing all right so we're still in 1850 we still need to connect to 10 rural businesses and we need to get our population up in Toledo to a hundred thousand is our first goals we could bring carrots in might be the next step also logs would be a huge one because we've been making lumber at that point. But does anybody need lumber is the real question. Like this town's not big enough to need lumber. Either is this town. Let me check Chicago. Chicago definitely needs lumber. And logs for that matter. Okay. So yeah we'd have to transport the lumber to Chicago is what would happen. Okay, Toledo to Indianapolis line's doing pretty good. This line coming back has hardly anything, but that's to be expected. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll be... Oh, I need to definitely uh, get the dragon if I can. And you're 100% right, Crusher. The, the only way to beat this game is by getting loans. And sometimes you can play the stock market too if you really want to, but... So the easy way to upgrade your locomotives, and I think this is a, let me just double check, I think that's a freight locomotive. Yeah, it is. So basically go to the engine shed, you can replace all your locomotives using this little toggle right there. And then you can just change the one that is basically freight only. Or you could do mix, but I'm just going to do freight only in this case. Um, although we don't have enough money. Okay, so next step is we're going to do it the crusher way. by getting some loans. Go ahead and get the max loan for now. Just gonna buy a little bit of shares of this for later. And probably 50 shares of that. That'll come in handy at some point in the game. All right, let's upgrade our locomotives, at least the freight ones that we're using. Oops. Here we go. That'll help out just a little bit. Let's see, does this upgrade yet? No, we're still transporting the max out that we can of meat. In fact, I may get rid of one of these trains real quick. Because this one's at three, yeah. Uh, I hate getting rid of this train, but I think we're taking too much meat. It's only going to fill up with, it, with three box cars. Let's see what happens before I do anything. Faster and faster so four. I'll keep both going on that line because eventually this will expand to a level two when this starts transporting more meat out. And it's probably, okay, that's all passengers and mail. Even though it has four meat to export. Okay, all right.
trying to figure out what my next step is. I think I'm going to do the carrots, or was it vegetables is what they call it. So the problem with that is our warehouse is too small. We only have three items that can come in here. I'm going to have to expand the station. It's 180 to do that. Oof, let me see. Let me just make sure that's what I want to do. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to have to do right now. I don't want to set up another station on this side. It's going to cost too much. It's better just to expand what I have. I am going to hire the security guard, but I'm going to figure out which of my trains is making money. If I can, it might be too early to see. Probably doing Foster Farm the Warehouse. So Foster Farm the Warehouse, we're going to manage the train, add the security guard on there. There we go. <laughs> That's funny because I'm actually doing my laundry right now, though. I just heard my uh, my dryer go off, so I can't really fold laundry at the moment. But I wish I was doing the rest of my laundry, remaining laundry, I should say. Okay, so now we have a full-on warehouse that accepts more things. And the next thing I'm going to do is vegetables. So let's go ahead and add that into the mix. Uh, let's see here. There we go. How much grain do we need going there? Do we need more than that? I'm just going to keep one train running, but... Let me check the city. I feel like we're overloaded with grain. Yeah, warehouse is overfilled. So I'll just keep one train on there. And let's go ahead and run a small train station. Another new station. You are and we are running out of money like no other. Right there will work. And I don't have hardly any money, so I'm just going to end the track right there going out. Set up the signaling, because that's pretty much free. Just going to fix these signals right here so it doesn't block the track for any reason. Okay. As soon as we get enough money for another train, we'll go from Parker Farm down to Warehouse 1. Folding is overrated. <laughs> what do you do? Just throw it? I don't know. If I don't fold it, everything gets all wrinkly. So you kind of have to fold to a certain extent. What up, Agent? Man, we got James in here. We got Agent Smith. I haven't seen these people in forever. There you go, David. Yeah, I remember that too on uh, Railroad Tycoon 3. And if you guys wonder who I'm talking to other than Twitch, I am live streaming at YouTube and I'm checking the chat every so often on there as well. I'm just going to let them hire, put the stoker where they need to go. All right, so we have enough for another train. I think we do at least. We're going to go from Parker Farm down to the warehouse, make it freight only. And, oh, I need to buy this one for 53000 so we'll give it a second. Or, better yet, let's get another bond. Why not, right? Okay. I'm trying to figure out what my next step is going to be. Got corn, don't need that. We could technically bring corn to Louisville and Indianapolis. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's an easy route to do. Just trying to figure out how I do it. I should have built that spur. I should have built this down a little further with the spur in there. I think I'm going to do that right now since we have some money. So let me delete this right now. Delete that first. So I'm going to put this down here. 
I'm gonna fix all this track in between. And I might have to check the tracks, how everything's set up, but... Okay, probably right here. There we go. I forgot who was telling me to do this little spur right there, but I'm finally listening and doing as I've been told, or as I should be doing, I should say. And I could be taking it to... Uh, I should be bringing this corn up to that warehouse, though. Hang on. We're going to have to do a few things here. I don't want to go under the track. Hmm. Let me redo it again. I need this guy to come down more. And then kind of curve in. This may help, hopefully. <laughs> Agent Smith, how am I going to Amtrak, Amtrak the game? Is that code word for doing something? What is it? I don't get what that's about. Why can I not go right there anyways? I don't know what that... I don't know why it's not letting me combine the tracks. It's really strange. Is it too, too twisty? I don't know. It's so strange. I guess I'll separate it right there. I don't know why it was doing that. It's kind of, kind of weird, but it just looks horrible. That's what it looks like. Ugh. This looks like garbage. Uh, coaster connector station in Toledo to your eastbound freight. Station in Toledo to the eastbound freight. Uh, to eastbound freight to the veg and wheat to be able to expand Grand Rapids. Oh, talking about over here? Yeah, that's uh, that's coming soon. You're talking about expanding Grand Rapids over here, right? Okay, yeah. Let me let me fix this over here first. Cuz I'm already losing track of what I was going to do. I'm going to have to redo this again. And luckily, I'm not losing money. At least I don't think I'm losing money. So 2%'s fine. 2%'s fine. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted right there. Now I need to make a spur on this side. It's not a whole lot of room on the spur right there, or the, the connection, but... But then it will allow me to go off track here, which is what I want. That's what I wanted right there. Okay. Now we are in business. Because I want to be able to basically connect this item to this track. I want corn going to Louisville directly to as a town, but I also want corn going to Warehouse 2 instead of to Indianapolis directly. If that makes any sense to you guys. Hopefully it does. What up, Tea Cakes peeps on YouTube? How's it going? Welcome to the this live stream. We're trying to beat this chapter. Okay, let me fix... I'm losing track of everything I'm doing. I'm going to fix the signaling first and foremost. Or at least try to. And to do that, I need to make sure this is has an X on the south side. Alright. 
Put one in the middle. I'm hoping this area is big enough for a train to not get stopped. I don't know. I'm a little, a little nervous about that. I can always make it bigger down the road if I need to. Okay, we have a supply tower there. All right, we should be okay. Okay. So now I'm going to have a, just one train going from Collins Estate to Louisville, back to Collins Estate, and to Warehouse 2 is the plan. So now I just want to connect it to this track right there. But I need it going both ways, which is the unfortunate part, so I'm going to have to do this again. Let's say the bottom part of your station that has no track to the curb to the south. The bottom part, the bottom part of your station that has no track to the. What are you, what are you talking about, coaster? I'm trying to look. What of uh, consuming internal organs? <laughs> That's a crazy name, man. <laughs> it sounds like a like a death metal. Yeah, man. Pacific Surfliner. That was kind of what uh, made my channel back in the day. So. At Toledo. Okay, hang on, Coaster. Let me finish this real quick before I lose my train of thought and I'll go back and look at it. Because I will lose my train of thought, unfortunately. Let's see if we can do that. Actually, bring this down. It's like I'm making this way too complicated, but I want to make sure my trains don't end up getting stuck somewhere is what I'm trying to do. Because that's a pain to have to go back and fix things down the road. So I guess the only problem with this is I may need to make a maintenance station in Louisville or Warehouse 2. Actually, I have one in Warehouse 2, so I think I just need one in Louisville to be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and put one here. Now we're going to set up a line from here. Back to Collins Estate to Warehouse 2. Okay. We have a, at least one supply tower along the way, which is good. And we want to run freight only. Let's go ahead and hire the promoter. It's only 28000 Can I put Toledo on there? There we go. Alright, so Coaster, real quick at Toledo, I was wondering what you were saying. I know I can curve that around, go up to the Grand Rapids, which we'll do that here in a minute. But keep in mind, the tasks are as follows. We have to connect 10 rural businesses to the rail network, which is our number one priority. And we have to reach 100,000 population in Toledo, which is also our number one priority, because both are due by 1854. And if we look at what Toledo needs, you can see right here, We next is probably we need wood or sugar coming here. The wood route would be relatively expensive, but lucrative. It's a long distance away. I don't see anything closer. I think that's what we need to do next, though, is we need to have this wood going all the way down. Either that or we need to run something up to Chicago on our main line. Toledo just grew, which is good. Let me look at the meat that's going. We're doing good on that. We're level two at the Lee Ranch, which is important too. I'm going to manually place the conductor based off which trains make the most money, which is this one. 
we go. What up, Drew? How's it going? Nice to see you again. I feel like I got all the uh, the OGs up in here. Are we making beer? We should be making beer, right? I'm gonna go ahead and clone this train. Have one going back and forth because you can see there's no beer or there should be plenty of beer to export and it looks like we are exporting quite a bit down south which is good I want to keep that up all right next thing it's gonna be really expensive to do we're gonna go ahead and deliver wood from down here start off with again with a small train station and we can eventually tie the uh, the fruit into here as well Jesus it's gonna be super expensive to do this though we'll go ahead and try to make it as cheap as possible thank you for the follow consuming internal organs which is probably the most killer name I've heard in a while thank you very much definitely appreciate it okay Ooh, I don't wanna Okay, so let's see what we can get down here. We can't get this express train as of yet. We can unlock the use of caboose on trains, which I don't want to do as of yet. We can reduce the price of locomotives if we wait, or we can get this, increase the profits of factories. So let's wait, I'm gonna wait till I get 300 points before using that. Indianapolis is growing, which is good. That's what we want to see. I'm surprised there's no like relief for student debt with all the COVID stuff that has been going on. I know there was talks of it, but I would have expected to see something by now on reducing student debt or paying some of it off would have been nice. Let's see what our accountant is. Don't need an accountant. Ooh. I would like to steal from another player. That gives us basically free technology is the hope. Although we're low on money, unfortunately. Overloaded with grain yet is the real question. Nope, still loading it up. So, cow catcher received. Not sure what that even is. What did we get? I don't I don't have any clue what we got. I'm going to go ahead and get the other spy, though. Let's see what they come back with. All right, now that we've got both spies working to give us hopefully free technology, or technology I paid for, I guess, at this point. We need to run the rest of this track as soon as possible. I don't know why it has to have a bridge right there. How about this? I'm going to put a, uh, a supply tower right there when I get enough money and delete that track to see if I can run it a different way to make it a little bit better. <laughs> Crusher, are you on YouTube as well? I just saw that. Multiple places at once. All right, let's go ahead and lay the supply tower down. And delete this part of the track and let's see if we can run it 
in a better fashion is my hope. There we go. I don't know why it's doing it just fine now. So we need 41,000 to run that. Louisville can actually make meat as well. I could deliver one train from the Lee Ranch going there, but then it doesn't really have any place to deliver the meat, so I'm gonna hold off on doing that and keep it going straight to Toledo to grow this town. As you can see, we're getting pretty close in the population. We still need to connect to five rural businesses on our rail network. But our population in Toledo is going up, so that's pretty good. Uh, do I want that? No, I don't want that. I don't want to spend all my money that I don't have. Getting pretty close to be able to run a train on this line. In fact, we probably could right now. We probably need two more supply towers, though. Okay, and then we could do this as well. Reduce the price of locomotives. That's what I wanted. Let's go ahead and set up a line. Oh, before we set it up, too, though... I need to add into this warehouse that we're accepting the logs. That's very, very important. So let's do that. So the locomotive went from, what, 50-something thousand down to 37. That helps out quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put one more supply tower down here. And I do need to run dual tracks and set up signaling, so that's going to be my next step. Because so I think we can run a lot of trains from Green Forest Isles all the way down to Warehouse 1. And we definitely want to get probably fruit coming to Toledo as well. Yeah, we don't have any fruit there. So quick question if you guys are watching out there, I'm always curious, do any of you guys watch like selling videos or RVing videos at all? I guess you could call them adventure videos, I don't know if I would really name it that, but just kind of curious. I've been, I just got a fifth wheel on a new truck, but I didn't know if anybody out there would be interested in watching that kind of video or not. I've always wanted to do the cooking stream too, which I have yet to do, but eventually I'll get around to doing something like that. Let me see how much this cost. 154,000 is what we need. Yikes. Let's see if we can sell that stock at all that we bought earlier. Can we make any money by selling stock? Ooh, okay. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can sell this stock right here. Gave us the money we needed. Now I just need to set up the signaling, so let's go ahead and do that. Oop. Okay, let's wait till the train gets life in, I guess. A game. All of life is a game, sweetie. Oop. Always want to bid on this to get the free technology not free but it's much cheaper than having the weight to get points to research it so if you have the money doing these auctions are hugely or greatly important i should say look out i've still got an ace or two up my sleeve all right now that train's in let's go ahead and run the signaling and we can space these out quite a bit since this is such a long track. And I guess we could always come back and 
add more signals as needed, but I really don't see a whole lot of trains using this track. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and clone that one train so we have more logs coming in. Another thing I could do is make an express only route from Toledo to Indianapolis once I unlock the express trains and then I can make a freight from Toledo to Warehouse 2 might be a good good option to do. Brave Dave? I, I have seen Brave Dave. That's actually that's pretty extreme compared to what I would do, but I watch a lot of like La Bagabond, uh, Gone with the Winds. Things like that. If you haven't checked out Labagabon, though, the selling videos, definitely, even if you don't have any interest in selling whatsoever, Labagabon is definitely awesome to watch. And it will make you almost want to sell watching them. All right, next thing we're going to set up is running fruit all the way from here down to Toledo. Unless there's something else we can do that's closer, which I don't think there is. Yeah, we're going to end up running fruit. That would check off another rural business and also increase the population slowly. So we'll do that. What is going on with this? Why is this guy coming back with logs? I, I'm so confused right now. What just happened? We need logs here to make lumber. Should drop it off, right? Okay. And it should run back with nothing. I'm watching it. Why is it... I'm so confused right now. Okay, no, no. Alright, it's working now. I guess that, that train must have glitched for some reason. Wow, that's weird. Alright, next stop is going to be adding fruit to Toledo. And I'm going to connect it outside of the other station just to prevent it from slowing down. I know it costs a little bit of extra to run track, but we'll be alright. You do know that the two rails have to run parallel to each other, right? Looks pretty amateurish to me. And we'll go ahead and set up signaling. There we go. Supply tower. I should probably put one more supply tower right here. Go ahead and add the train. Actually, before we do that, I need to add fruit onto that warehouse. It's the last item we can have go in there too, unfortunately, before we build another warehouse, but that's fine for now. Right, there we go. Being loaded up with fruit, increased the population in Toledo. Now we got a plan about what we're going to do next, because I don't know. <laughs> we could bring grain down to Louisville or up to Louisville from there would be a good one. My spy took a quick look around your research. We could run to Grand Rapids would be another good one. And have multiple trains go in there to supply that. We could also add sugar going down to Toledo. But then we have to open another warehouse if we want that. Hmm. 
think I'm going to do something easy. I'm going to run just a train, a uh, grain train from basically Foster Farm to Louisville. Freight only. I could have it go back through the warehouse. I don't know what it would deliver other than possibly meat if it's not already overloaded from Toledo. I'll do that. I'll run it run it through there, I guess. Okay, that's good. I want to run one train from Lee Ranch to Louisville to make meat, just in case we have meat going out. I don't think that would necessarily hurt. There we go. I feel like that's just going to increase our... Uh oh Oh, bad press. Yeah, bad press. The papers these days, we definitely want to reduce the maintenance cost right there. I'll unlock the express trains next, more than likely. David, that's actually a very good question. So David asked, does running trains over a long distance make more money? I think the simple answer to that is no. I think you have a set price based off each load. It doesn't matter if it runs across the map or not. You're still getting the same amount. So that's 2100 and it's running a very, very long distance. Let's look at Lee Ranch and it could be based off the, the type of goods coming in too. Let's see how much this makes coming in on a much shorter distance. So that was 2160 per cart. Again, it could be based off the type of material, so I don't know. Let's see what this gets right here. Uh, I couldn't see because it didn't say. <laughs> I'll have to check another train coming in. I think it gets just a set amount. I don't think the distance matters. I could be wrong though, David. I'm going to go ahead and clone this train. That's fruit. I cloned the wrong train. I, w I didn't want two fruit trains running, but I want to clone this train. There we go. That just got 2160, whatever that was coming in. So I think it's just a set amount based off the type of cargo you're running is what I really think. I'm trying to think what else we could do. We're overstocked on beer here. I think we can open up maybe to Chicago. So express lines in danger because of a faster locomotive. So I think someone got the express train right here, which we need to unlock sooner than later. I think maybe Chicago is going to be our next stop. Because we're going to have a lot of things going to Chicago. And we can run an express train down to Toledo, too, on top of that. Question is, should we just run freight first or the actual express line? Oh, man. It's a hard, hard decision. Okay, another good one here. So this one's making cloth for export. Let's see that. Let me look down here. I really need to hit 90,000. I want to make basically dresses here and then have dresses go up to Chicago would be my plan. God, I got so many things I could do. I'm thinking I'm going to connect this um, cotton farm to Indianapolis though next so let's go ahead and do that and I do want to connect into this line somewhere let's go ahead and do this And 
And as soon as Toledo hits 90,000 population, I'm going to try to actually buy my own clothing manufacturer is my hope. What up, Wipeout? How's it going? <laughs> Other Lord Kate. Oh, man, I've been, I've been good over here just doing what I've always been doing. Let's do the signaling. Hopefully you've been good. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, honestly, if you guys are wondering what I've actually been playing mostly. I don't know why I feel like I'm just addicted to Call of Duty at the moment is really what it is. Oh, there we go. And let's go ahead and replace the trains before we do anything else. So, I want to replace any train. Hmm. I guess I have to manually do it. Or I have to set up an express line. Jesus. Let me find the train and do it manually. So, set, manage train, buy locomotive, buy this one. Where's the other train that I need? Here it is. Let's go ahead and change this one. God, I really need to make freight only trains though too. Problem with this, I need to actually change the line. I hate doing this, I want to delete the train. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to. So we're going to make express trains now. This will be passengers and mail only. And then same thing with this guy. I need to expand the Louisville station, which I'll do in a second, but... I want to make this passenger and mail only. Let's go ahead and expand this station real quick oh, too. Fantastic. That one of your locomotives has finally set a record. Let that train come in. And then I'm gonna do this just so I can correct the track. The easiest way to correct track is putting down a supply tower of the portion you want to correct, and then you can get rid of that when you need to. Yeah, I haven't played Call of Duty since, Jesus, I don't know, a long, long, maybe probably Modern Warfare 1? I don't know. But the new one's very, very good. I, I definitely like it, and I, I do highly recommend it. Uh-oh, that supply tower is in use already. I need to get rid of the supply tower as soon as possible. There we go. It's already a maintenance building there, which is good. So now I need freight trains going from Toledo to Warehouse 2. Or just maybe back and forth. I don't know if I need to go into the warehouse. Let me see. Let me just try it without adding anything over to the warehouse for delivery. I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to try it anyways. So you can see it loaded nothing. So I want to delete that. Uh, I'm going to have it running basically city to city, but freight only is what we're going to do. Oops, already messed that up. So 
It's gonna go here to there, freight only. All right, let's see if that one loads the correct way. It's waiting for clearance. There we go. And then we need another train, Toledo to Louisville freight only. And I may actually have it go to three places. Let me change that. There we go. All right, Wipeout. Yeah, I hope you have some good night's sleep. I've been having problems falling asleep in mine, which is why I've been actually watching a lot of, uh, of people stream as of lately. What up, John? On YouTube, thank you for uh, commenting. Yeah, I just released uh, a few recent train simulator videos, and I will have more coming out very soon. Probably one more this week. I'm trying to do it on a weekly basis right now, but I don't want to overpromise anything moving forward either. Yeah, Crusher, I, I do miss the uh, shot clock too. I know I've been getting a lot of that lately. Okay. Someone said it slowed. I don't like that. Locomotive slowed due to missing operating supplies, which is not a good thing. I don't know what that would be. Which one is it? Let me see. It's going from Lee Ranch to... Oh, it needs a supply tower. Okay. I can fix that for you. Let's put a supply tower right here, I guess. Okay. There you go, buddy. That's what you need is a supply tower. I'm going to go ahead and pay off one of these loans right now. And I can pick up another loan here in a minute if I need to. Let's check our tasks. We have 8 out of 10 rural businesses connected. We're almost 100,000, which I need to go ahead and... Oh, someone already did it. Okay, they had put a clothing manufacturer there, which is what I was going to do. I think I need to expand this warehouse to a gigantic CTA one now. Has become quite big. Are you claiming that your railroad had a big influence on its development? Yeah. I'm definitely going to upgrade this warehouse right here to something here in a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll still drink on stream at some point in the future. It's not like I'm not drinking at all. Did you, did you bring your big wallet with you? Okay. Oh, we are going to gonna do some, some major renovations, which I may need a uh, an actual loan for. Let's put this here and this there. This is going to be a fairly big hub, so yeah, we need a loan before we do anything. Uh-oh. Why can I not place this anywhere around here? Why is it red no matter what? That's confusing. Let's try the warehouse. Okay. That's why probably. Yep. I had the wrong thing selected. That was scaring me for a second. I'm just going to do the regular warehouse. I can always upgrade this, but let's do this one right here. See if we can connect it or not. Hopefully we can. There 
it's actually a lot easier than what I was thinking originally. We'll delete both of these supply towers. We don't need on both sides. Let's go ahead and correct the signaling. All right. My next question is, on the freight that we have going from Toledo to Indianapolis, if I can find the train, it would be helpful. This might be it right here. Nope, that's not it. That's the express line. That's the express line. What is this? Toledo to, oh, Louisville. What is this? So it's basically just delivering meat. So we are going to fix this line right now. I want it going there, is what I need. I don't know. Try to just keep it the same for now. I want to fix it. I want to have it go from Toledo to the warehouse. But I'm going to include meat. We're going to have this going there, this going there. I think we have to expand the station already. Let's go ahead and expand it. There we go. We have beer going there, so it can go basically south or other places. Cloth will be there as well. What else? Anything? It's good for now. I gotta find the other freight going down here, though, is the problem. That's the express line. What up, James? What is this? I think that's the express line as well. Foster Farm. Okay, that's something else. Trying to find the freight train that's going in between all the three towns is what I'm trying to do. I'm sure it won't bother you that my spy took a quick look around your research department. I think it's time we set up another warehouse down here to go other places, but let's see what this one is doing. you that my spy took a quick look around your research here it is department. this is what i was looking for i want to get rid of indianapolis and add it to the warehouse motives. i need to add i guess meat on there instead of cows hang on i think i messed that up it needs to be meat and not cattle okay So eventually I'll start another warehouse down here to keep things out of the line, but I'm going to keep it the same for now. Let's go ahead and promote Toledo again. Let's go ahead and promote comfort, I guess. It's fine. Yeah, I feel like I just need another warehouse over here.
Let's do this. Hopefully this will make things a little bit easier. Let's fix the signals. Should be good. Need cloth coming in, probably beer. I can find it on here. I don't know what else would be coming down. Let's see. Toledo the warehouse three, so it needs to be Toledo the warehouse four. Don't want to copy. All right, let's see what's going on. So warehouse three needs to go to warehouse four. Let's just delete it. Be easier. If you carry on at this pace. I could just walk instead of taking the train. <laughs> Four. <laughs> what up, Sky? How's it going? How you doing? Sorry, I haven't been checking chat a whole lot. I'm, my mind's trying to wrap around what I'm doing at the moment. So I need to go from Warehouse 3 to Warehouse 4. Freight only. With that guy. Perfect. Okay. I think there was one other one that was doing the same thing. If I can find it, I think it did it just leave. I don't know where it's at. I thought I was going north a second ago. That's the one I just put up. The other guy would be going this way. I see you've managed to expand your rail network in the east. Here it is. That's more than I expected of you. I hear the bridge over the Mississippi has been approved. However, the Mississippi is a land So Louisville to warehouse it. 3 down to warehouse but it's 4 a huge of work. That's what should be happening right there. So that looks like it's good. Okay. What up 237G? How's it going, man? I'm uh trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Trying to follow up on everything I need to do on, on research and trains running. I got making lots of cash now, which is good. Repay that bond off. All right, so look at the task. We got plenty of money. We need to connect two more rural businesses. We already got 100,000 population in Toledo, which is good. But we need two more rural businesses. Super important. We need to go ahead and do that like ASAP. I think connecting to this warehouse four would be good for sugar. Let's go ahead and add that on there. We can do that next. So let's just do a small train station. And let's go ahead and run the tracks. We have plenty of money, but we don't want to waste it if we don't have to. And that's a... There we go. That'll work right there, actually. I'm gonna run dual track all the way if I can. And let's go ahead and do the signaling. Okay, we'll run one train on that. So Thompson Manor to Warehouse 4. 
freight only. Oops. And technically, we could run sugar to other towns too. Let's see. This warehouse isn't filled yet. Let's see if Indianapolis needs sugar. It probably does. Yep, it does. So for that, we can do a little spur off of here. Hopefully. Fix the signaling real quick. Okay, and we can run another train from Thompson Manor to Warehouse 3. Oops. Same thing, run another freight train. Seems like I got plenty of cash flow right now, a little sinker, at least right now, so. What up, TFD? Sorry, I just saw the chat. For some reason, the YouTube chat takes a while for me, I guess, for it to show up. So if I miss your comments on YouTube, I definitely apologize. I know David's on there. I haven't seen Colonel Failure. Uh, no, I haven't seen Colonel Failure offhand. I haven't never heard that name. I'll have to check it out though. That's how I built my reputation and yet So I'm surprised I haven't connected to Chicago yet. But before we do that, let's go ahead and run one more rule station Incredible. to mark Who off connecting 10 rule businesses. Right. I'm just not sure what we need. Or what's the easiest to connect to. Having milk would be nice, which is way up there. Could run milk to Indianapolis, which I'm sure they need it, yep. When I first started out, nobody took me seriously. Cornelius, whose family of Dutch farmers emigrated to America. But I it's also fruit right all. there. I might just connect to that to make things easier and run fruit to one or two places, even though we have one way over there. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and connect to this fruit farm right here. I'm going to put another small... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just do another small... You're constantly expanding your business, huh? I must admit the uh, results speak for themselves. This rail. I will dual track it, even though it's a little bit of overkill. Supply tower in the middle. Okay, so I think we just checked off the two first, oh wow, so we checked off the fir first two major tasks. We already got 250,000 people connected to the rail network. We already have a population of 100,000 in Toledo. Next step is we gotta connect to the cities of Chicago, St. Louis, and Louisville by 1856. So let's go ahead and connect to Chicago and Louisville. And we're gonna make express lines, if at all possible, so. I'm going to do a large station in Chicago. Might be overkill, but... Actually, we can do a regular one for now. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. We'll make sure to have the signaling control, though, which I think is the most important thing. Let's go ahead and use this line right here. And should I connect it to Indianapolis? Or should I go down? to Toledo. I think I'll connect it to Toledo first. Oh, there's lots of little like spurs and things right there is the only problem. That's, that's a lot of money to do that. Can I do a bridge? Still a lot of money. That's fine. I got money. It's not the problem.
I'm gonna run dual track all the way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another bond. Let's put down some supply towers. Got four supply towers along the way. We can do the signaling. Yeah, so I got Chicago going down to Toledo. I think Grand Rapids will be after St. Louis. I want to connect St. Louis directly to Chicago. Then we'll work on the Rock Island that we need to get going on. I'm just going to run everything through this station in Chicago instead of doing a freight route there, though. Because this line is massively expensive. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I know we're making pretty good cash. At least at the moment. Let's go ahead and fix this, though. Try to space those out a little bit better if we can. Okay. It's going to go to Toledo, to Chicago. And we've got to get to St. Louis as well. Let's go ahead and make a station there. I'm just going to run it right now. Well, well, everyone has to start somewhere. And we're going to connect this to Chicago. Again, massive line right here, massive expenses. You are expanding your Oops. real network pretty far south. Are you sure it's worth it? Hopefully we can use these lines for other things besides just going back and forth. I did mess up right here. So to fix that, again, what we do is put a supply tower in. Simply delete the track. Then we'll add track going back and forth. Go ahead and crisscross the tracks if we can. Jeez, I got a freaking, for me, at least a ton of viewers on Twitch. Jesus, 14. I was expecting to have like four or five viewers. For Thank you guys for watching so much. I definitely appreciate it. Make my heart happy. All right, let's do probably three supply towers, even though we're running out of money. That's not really spaced out very well, is it? And we got to also build a maintenance building in Chicago is probably where I'm going to end up putting it. Okay, I'm going to try to use this track as much as possible for other things. Okay, so now we're good. I'm going to do one that's passengers and rail only, basically going from Toledo to Chicago. Or should I run it all the way back up and forth? No, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep them separate. And then I'm going to set up a rail line from Chicago to St. Louis. Passengers only. Another express line. Alright, so we got the 
cities connected the very next step was we have to deliver 50 loads of lumber to rock island by 1858 we're only in 1851 as of right now what up john pc how's it going man I like the meat boy icon east st louis I have seen a movie called The Rock Island Trail. Uh, Rock Island Railroad and features the bridge will be bringing supplies to build. In. No, I have not, David. But now that you say that, I do want to write that down and actually look it up. All right, so hang on. Let's see what Rock Island has. Um, the Transcontinental Railroad is nothing that we need. So hang on. Let me read this again before I mess this up. Fifty loads of lumber. Keyword is lumber. Can't resist my candy. And we do make lumber in this town. No reason not to have a dream. And there's logs here, so that's perfect. We actually, we can definitely do something here. This is good. Then go ahead. Should I get this express train? I'm going to hold off on getting the faster express train. Just because we're low on funds. I'm going to connect Rock Island to Madison because it's, basically making lumber there we need to get 50 loads of lumber to rock island but i can also connect harris logging to right here as well oh that's, that's not good the express line's already in danger because there's a faster train whoops should have done something and i should be checking on these lines and doubling up on some of these trains coming in for easy money which you know i could clone this train all day long i'm sure oh maybe not there's only four Logs getting delivered. I don't know why there's not lumber stock up here. That's kind of strange. Anyways, not a big deal. Chicago dwindles. Does Chicago need dresses? It does. Is there dresses? I don't need that. Is there dresses down here? that need to go out. Not as of yet. Interesting. Okay. Right, I'm going to focus. So now we need a pretty good size warehouse with signal control here at Madison. Let's see, can I get it like that? It'd be awesome if I could do it like that. There we go. We're doing this for the sole purpose of delivering lumber here. So keep that in mind. Oh, one thing I didn't do, which I need to do, I need to set up a maintenance building in Chicago. Super important. Good night, James. Take care, man. Thank you for coming by. Definitely appreciate it. Appreciate you guys all watching as well, whoever's still with me at this point. And here, I do need to go ahead and start a maintenance building as well. We do want to keep uh, logs and lumber here. That's all we're going to be doing for the time being. Let's go ahead and set up a supply tower or two. I would say let's go ahead and just do one along the way because we're... Not doing so great on money at the moment. And set up signaling like we always do. And most importantly, set up the train. Do freight only. There we go. We're already start already starting to deliver lumber. Now we want to overload Madison with the logs, which I don't have enough money to do a train station as of yet, but I will here in just a second. I gotta unpause it to make money, so let me unpause it. All right, small train station. And we'll run.
run this into the top portion right there. As soon as we get 28,000. Always run dual track if possible. We do need a supply tower, signaling, and a train. So we need about probably 50, 60,000 to do that. We'll give it a second. I do need to buy this inventor too. That's 57,000. Where is one of my express trains? Here we go. Ride along for a second. Let's get it to about 150,000 real fast. The cool thing is, you can actually move the camera around. You can whistle, you can change camera positions on here. And unfortunately, I'm always trying to make money and do things as quickly as possible, so I don't get views like that too often, but. If you have time to sit around and really enjoy the game, especially after you beat a scenario, you can definitely get into that and see how your routes look at various locations. All right, Let's go ahead and go Harris logging to the warehouse, freight only. I'm going to buy the express train, and I am going to replace all other express trains, which is these right here. Getting pretty close. I need 133,000 to do that, so we're pretty, pretty close to that. So the Rock Island Trail, David. I'm going to remember that. I promise. Rock Island Trail. Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't think you can connect to a competitor's track. I've never tried, though. No, you cannot. And it really sucks. If they if they were to build over here first, you know, and I needed to go across their track, you have to build either a tunnel or a bridge, which can get quite expensive. So, honestly, the faster you build in this game, the better, because they will expand. Like, they would come down to Chicago if I didn't get there first. And it's just a pain to get around their tracks at some times, or at some points, I should say. All right, are we still delivering lumber? Barely. I want to make sure this train's doing its job. I may have two go back and forth as well. Oh dear. There seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. I think I set it up backwards. Should have started at Harris Logging, not at Warehouse 5, but I'm gonna go ahead and clone the train. Uh-oh. That's not good. No suitable freight for this train. Where is it going? Thompson Manor to Warehouse 3? Well, that would be why, because there's no... Yes. Um, sugar is not listed at the warehouse. That's not good. And I don't know what's not being used out of all of this is the real problem. So I'm going to change this guy's line from Warehouse 3 to just Indianapolis is what we're going to do. So that, that guy's been losing money for quite a while, unfortunately. Nothing I can do, go, nothing I can do to go back and fix it. But um, Let's see. I just want to check what we need to do. We're delivering loads, we got to transport 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha, which will come later. And we got to buy a competitor's company, which is pretty important. Let me look at this, though, real quick. I would like to put something in there. I don't know what, though. Get more innovation points or increase the citizens is what we can do. I'd say let's get more innovation points. Still got Grand Rapids over there. Okay, we should have fixed that, so that's fine. Let's 
go ahead and get some more innovation points. That's easy to do. So this analyst would be a good idea if we're going to start buying competitors, which I think we're kind of at that point where we need to start doing that. Got 28 trains in use. I'd like to be a little bit bigger than that. But if we can decrease the price of somebody and buy shares right away, that would be a good idea. Buy the company that goes to Madison. Let me take a look. Me, but could you keep out of this? You're driving the price up. Uh, I don't know how. Okay, so it's that. Let's say bigger lady. I don't know how else to put it. The girl with the blue hat. Let me go into company and see. That would be Beatrice Bone Pump is who I would need to buy. And she's actually worth, or they're worth about the same right now. And I could connect a bunch of stuff to this warehouse that Madison needs, like Steel corn and all that. So much more pleasant than the railroad. The gentle rolling of the waves instead of being bumped around, strolling on deck instead of squeezing through the cars. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, these business people with their oh-so-great demeanors. He never stops yapping, right? Strolling on deck, my eye. The last time I was on such a boat, the floor nearly gave way beneath my feet. I think it may be a good idea to my get informed me that you need to urgently clean a warehouse in Chicago at this point and do a bunch of more trains going there to make money. Over the place. I think that's what I'm going to do. Although buying stock, I don't know, it's, it's so hard. I don't think I'm big enough to buy out a competitor, but it's cheaper now, too. I don't know, it's a hard decision. Let me see how the tasks are doing. We've got 10 loads of lumber delivered. We need 50. Then it's going to be a matter of transporting 100 passengers up to Omaha, which is way up there. Unfortunately, I don't think we can build. Yeah, we can't build till we deliver the lumber, so that's... Priority one. Let's see how things are doing here. I don't think logs or wood counts. I, don't, I guess, oh, they need wood for the furniture, it looks like. And I'm assuming this place needs furniture. Nope. 115,000 citizens. Let's work on growing Chicago. I'm going to do... I guess just a warehouse for what it needs. It will need corn. It will need milk. Also needs logs. So we can do that. We can also work on buying a company. But I think we need to expand a little bit more. Make a little bit more money. I'm going to do a warehouse on this side. There we go. And then we just need small train stations here. And here. make easy lines for easy profit. I don't know why supply tower is not working though. It's kind of strange. Oh, there we go. It's really weird. Let me fix that. Something's not quite right with that track. There we go. That looks a lot better.
I guess I could also go back and really start taking a close look at what I can add more trains on to make easy profit. I haven't done that quite yet on my old stomping grounds or old starting points, I should say. Put that in there. We do need to add a warehouse. Not a warehouse, but a uh, maintenance building at the warehouse. Alright, that's one down. Let's go ahead and connect the other guy. Go. All right, set up another train. question is what else can we get to go to Chicago I think we could do the wood as well let's go ahead and expand this station and then we're gonna use this bottom track to actually go south I'll just connect it right here I guess it's fine we need some more money so let's let it let's get some more money about a hundred thousand we'll expand that here in a second So got quite a bit of track going all over the place, which is nice. We got 13 loads of lumber to Rock Island, though. I need to speed that up. I don't know what else to do other than make Madison bigger. Okay, that's a lot of lumber going down. That's what I needed right there. Question is, can we double up? I don't think we can double up on this train. But we want to see a full train of lumber going out to Rock Island. That's that's what's really important, actually. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to skip Williams Cattle. Oh, I don't want to restart. Don't want to build a bridge if I don't have to. And then we'll connect right in here. And just slowly, slowly expanding our rail empire at the moment. So we'll go from Harris. Actually, I need to fix Warehouse 6 to accept it. Let's go ahead and fix this first. So we want to accept logs as our third item. Go. This one will load and unload on the southbound track. These other two will load and unload on the northbound track, which is what we want. Should get, be getting pretty close to delivering. Well, 50, 50 loads of lumber. I mean, how many is that right there? That's a lot. Okay, yeah, it is counting each one, which is what I was wanting to make sure of. Alright, what else can we get to Chicago? We can get, I don't know if it needs, was that clay? Let's take a look. Does it need clay? It does not need clay. I know it needs sugar. 
I know it needs corn, which it already has corn going to it. Definitely needs wheat from Foster Field. So let's go ahead and expand it by adding the Thompson Manor to Chicago. That's an easy one to do. Easy way to make some additional revenue as well. Just need a supply tower and signals. Make sure it loads up real quick. <laughs> Drew, what train? What do you mean? Like on, on, uh, ooh, I forgot to do one thing. I just made a mistake. I need to add sugar to the warehouse. Ooh, I need to upgrade the station already. There we go. I'm going to just reset up the train to avoid wasting time. You get paid to, what? Drew, you get paid to drive trains? Can you uh, explain that to me real quick? I'm thoroughly confused at the moment. Are you like live streaming? What are you doing? All right, there we go. Now we got sugar loading to Chicago. This is what we need. What else can we do? We could have meat going to Chicago. We also need grain. I think grain would be the next step if we can get it to come in on the bottom side right here. Be kind of expensive and there's a tunnel, but that's fine. Sydney trains driver drew what I don't I'm still confused you get paid to drive trains I have no idea what you're talking about but I am curious that was an expensive tunnel right there but I think we'll pay off delivering grain over and over again to Chicago, that, that will pay off relatively quickly doing that. Oh wow, I did not know that. The last thing I saw from you, I mean, it was probably a long time ago too, was you doing like flight simulators like the big commercial flight simulators and learning how to fly. Are you still interested in doing that or no? And I haven't talked to a whole lot of you guys in a long time. All right, before I set up the train, I do need to add grain to the warehouse. There we go. Probably should have upgraded that station because we got multiple things going to it. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. I'll have to fix one side at a time, but let's go ahead and just automatically hire these guys. I'm going to fix this side first, and I'll fix the south side of Foster Farm here in just a second.
Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and fix the signaling real quick. All right. It's going to be a little bit harder to fix the southbound side until these two trains go by, so I'll give it a second on that. I don't need to waste money on a saboteur right now. Oh, we got a big X on this. No suitable freight. I'll have to check that in a minute. All right, let's fix this real quick. Mm, okay. When that happens, supply tower this is the only way to properly fix it. I may just leave that supply tower. Supply tower there, I can't even talk. Double check the signals. I don't know why that's black. That's really weird. There we go. Should switch tracks to the other side. Okay. Foster farm is now good. That's what we needed. An express train. I don't know why it's not an express. Toledo to Louisville. Should be express as well. I'm kind of surprised. Grand Rapids is right there still. I haven't really done a whole lot with that. Probably should connect to it at some point. I think delivering meat to Chicago would be pretty easy. Do we still have room at this? Yeah. I don't know, we could connect it right there. Or we could set up another warehouse on the other side. Hmm. Oh no, what bad luck. We do have a lot of meat to export in Toledo. <clears throat> I know Grand Rapids could probably use some of that. Let's go ahead and connect Grand Rapids. It's here. It's been waiting to be connected to for a long, long time. Just not sure what the best way to connect it is. I think I'm going to do it where it connects right there. Or maybe down here. Oh, it's a hard one. connected over here for now that way we kind of minimize the expense of adding this station in here We need to fix the signaling there. Okay. Now we could do an express line. I think that's what I'm probably going to do down to Toledo. Grand Rapids to Toledo. We could also do freight. I might do both. Let me do an express line first. I'll buy the cheaper locomotive though for this one. I will add a conductor. Next, I want to do a freight line. So from this warehouse up freight only and then I'm going to add in here 
got to expand the station, unfortunately. I'm going to add in meat on this side. And then add this locomotive. It should fill up with meat. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. Let me just double check the train list. So I'm going to go ahead and sort it by profit. I'm going to add as much personnel as we can on this side. There we go. Make sure that one's stacked as much as possible. And we'll try to stack some of these better trains if we can. A stoker on there. Okay. I think everybody has a job from what I see. Okay, we'll leave everything as is then. Making plenty of money. Now's the time to buy out. A competitor and work on that. Let's see if we can pay off one of these bonds. Probably pay this one off. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna pay this one actually directly off though, just to get another one that's a higher amount. And now we're gonna play a little buy you out game if we can. She's worth seven. She's worth eight. I'm gonna start going with the lowest person first. Ooh, Jesus. I can only buy 25% share right now, which is not not that great, to be honest with you. Thought I was gonna be able to buy a lot more. Let's go ahead and buy 25% of Tricia Jones is who we're buying. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Let's look at our task list again. We got 41 of 50 logs delivered, so we're good on that. We're working on buying out our competitor. And most importantly, we have to transport 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha without stopping is gonna be the next major thing we do. That's gonna be a pretty big expense to connect all the way north to Omaha as well. I kind of want to make this a signaling station. I know we have the money for it. I don't know if it's quite needed because we have a lot of the freight running outside the city already. I don't think we have that many trains either. We only got 35 trains. Usually at this stage, I'd probably have close to 50 trains. But we're still making a lot of money just because the trains that we do have are very, very good. Got those running, got lumber stacking up. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this train real quick. Bring more lumber down. I think we're about to hit, once that train hits, we will hit the 50 lumber delivered to open up the north side of this map. I guess I should say the east side of this map technically, but the north as I'm looking at it. Then we can run all the way through Des Moines and Omaha. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. We'll be doing a lot of other things. We could be running milk and grain up here to St. Louis. We could be running meat down to Chicago. Can't do any harm, right? I don't know. I think we're doing pretty good as it is. Fruit. Lots of fruit being delivered. Oh, I want to get out of signaling mode. Oh, one thing I didn't do. Did I do a maintenance building on the last thing I just built? I don't even remember what I just built. <laughs> That's the problem. 
Admittedly, I do it okay, so yeah, we just got the 50 loads of lumber delivered. In the for the Let's go ahead and connect to Omaha through Des Moines. You can advance deeper into the west. Actually, I'll probably just skip Des Moines altogether. May end up expanding Omaha. Okay. Oops. Oh no, did I connect? Okay, I thought I connected too close to there. That's good though. I'm gonna run dual line the whole way, which I know is not a money saver, but it's important since this is one of the major tasks that we have to do to get level 30, which is the top metal you can get on this. Let's do the supply towers next. We'll try to space them out as much as possible while still being reasonable. There we go. Now, we're not connected to this line from this line either but let's go ahead and do the signaling first up north or up east we should say I'm going to spread these out quite a bit So we, the one thing you gotta keep in mind is you cannot adjust this bridge connection right here. So we do have to go through here. And so we just need to make a line basically. Oh, there's actually a perfect spot to do it right there. We can use this track or this side of the track to go up. just connect basically right there is all we need to do running out of money though which is not a good thing need 106,000 to connect the rest of the track I'm gonna have to put it probably two more supply towers down along with the signaling then we'll have our connection from Toledo all the way up to Omaha I think next we'll probably expand Omaha to make more people coming in and out of there. I'm not saying Des Moines, Des Moines. Yeah, that's my, uh, I like to say I'm speaking American, not, not English. My uh, pronunciation on both Europe and American cities are pretty bad, though. Getting quite a bit of research out of the way. would like to get this, but I need this first. I'm trying to basically increase passengers in cities waiting to go out is really what I'm trying to do. Right, let's put down a couple of supply towers. I'm just going to do two. Do the signaling real quick. There we go. Now we got a clear route all the way down to Toledo. And it sounds like it's about the storm where I'm at. All right, and just it says 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha without stopping. I don't think it matters which way it goes, but I will be starting in Toledo just in case. All the way straight to Omaha. Passengers and mail only. And I will be getting the fastest locomotive. Let's go ahead and hire a conductor on there. Again, not a whole lot of passengers going there, unfortunately. I 
think one thing I will do, I want to make Rock Island go down to Chicago and then Chicago to Toledo. Maybe that will drop off more passengers needed to go there. Or we could do Rock Island to Omaha. Might do that instead, actually. Oops. Let's do this. So Chicago to Rock Island to Omaha. Have I told you already that I was up to nothing but adventures as a young woman? I was intrigued by anything new. And at the age of 17, everything is new. You know that. So I began experimenting. Okay, this is the train. Toledo to... Nope. Where is the train I just built? Jesus. I have to find it in here. I need to find Toledo to... Omaha. There we go. That's not it. Toledo to Omaha. There we go. That's the one I need. I'm going to try to stack this train as much as possible. Des Moines? Des Moines? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to brutalize, guys. <laughs> See this as a lesson in how not to behave at an auction. Sorry, Coaster. Sorry, Crusher. Oh, I've, I lost the auction like an idiot. Oh, well. Should have been paying attention, I guess. What up, Nick with Sticks? Thank you for following. Definitely appreciate it. And then I also want to, if I can, put a rail car. I don't have the caboose unlocked yet, unfortunately. Really want to get that. I should have unlocked it. Oh, well. If I have learned anything in my life, it's that you have to expect the worst. And now it has happened. What you're building there All right, so next step is we are going to expand basically Omaha. And the reason is I want to build this city up to have more passengers there is really what we're doing. So we need to figure out it needs grain, uh, cattle of some sort. So let's see what it makes. Okay, it does need a lot of cattle actually. Um, does it need vegetables? It does not need vegetables as of yet. Just needs grain and corn for the most part. There's corn. There's grain. We're going to do that. We're going to connect oh, those two right now. A bit of cheating, huh? Let me see what these are. Breakdown bad condition. And I'm kind of worried about that one. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this train. Probably been losing money for a while. This train's been in bad condition. I feel like it's been stuck there for a while. Can we just replace the train is the question. Still not moving, which is really strange. So I'm just going to delete the train. I have no clue what was wrong with that guy, but get rid of it, I guess. <laughs> David, it is French. Yeah, it is French. Pretty sad because I lived in Italy for three years, too. I should know how to pronounce some of these names a little bit better. You should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. All right, so we're going to connect basically corn and grain to Omaha first and foremost. And maybe even the cattle. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and build something outside of the regular station. Let's build a warehouse. I'm going to do the big warehouse and signaling control. Because I want to build the city as big as possible. And then we're just going to put small train stations at each of these places. Or I guess we could... Uh, I'm going to separate them. Another new station. You are relentless. Okay. Go.
connect that up. We'll run double track down here as well, even though it's probably not going to be needed. Let's run our supply towers. I'm going to put one. We'll do probably two on this section. And again, signaling control is the most important. Oh yeah, it's definitely about the storm where I'm at, guys. I hear the uh, thunder pretty loud outside. Oops. All right. Let's do grain first. And we need to add grain and corn and meat on here, or cattle, I should say. So, grain, cattle, corn, and we'll put meat on there for now as well. Let's go ahead and put a maintenance building in there. And now we need corn go in there, freight only. And then we'll go ahead and connect the cattle to the south side. Or the other side of the warehouse, I should say. Put the signaling up. A lot of repetition on this, but the more you do it, the easier things get. Actually, do I have? I need to put a uh, a supply tower into. Freight. All right. Now we do need to deliver all of this meat because you can see the meats basically maxed out for the export so we could be delivering the Kansas City and was it Sioux Falls Des Moines I think I got that right so I think the next step is going to be setting up freight trains to these three cities I think would be the way to go okay good that's the one I wanted right there I'm going to set up another express train from Omaha all the way down to Toledo. Good. Got people going. Let's check out our tasks. So we've delivered four out of 100 people. Again, as we grow Omaha, this will increase greatly. We're only 1853. We have to do this by 1861, but my hope is to do it here in the next year or so. We also need to buy out a competitor which we are working on let's go see where we're at on that we have 25% of Trisha Jones he's gonna be worth more and more the more we wait but I think it's more important to actually start making more money and expanding which is why we're gonna figure out how to get rid of this meat in Omaha to other cities first because I don't think we need sugar as of yet we don't yeah so Let's get rid of this overload of meat. Let's start with Des Moines well, and Sioux Falls. Somewhere. Oh, I got to connect to this one first, so let's do that. I'm going to use the existing track. And I hate running it through. I guess I could have skipped running it through there, but that's fine. I don't care if the train has to wait a little bit. It's not a, a huge deal. Again, using double tracks. Do you have to use double tracks? Absolutely not. Okay, we're just using this for freight at the moment. If 
like I made that way too spaced out down here. Alright. If we did this right, it should be delivering meat from Warehouse 7 to Des Moines. Hang on, Drew. I'll take a, I'll take a look at that here in just a second. I'm kind of curious. Okay, that's, we're ex exporting meat, which is good now. It's what we want. Do the same thing to this town right here. Another small train station. And I'm going to connect it right here before the bridge. There we go. Just add the signaling. Was that itchy? What's going on? Thank you, thank you so much for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. All right, let me take let me take a look at this real quick, Drew, if I can. There you go. That's a that's a video game right there. What are you playing? I'm assuming that's a video game. Or is that no? That's real life, isn't it? It almost looks like World of Subways, but. <laughs> I'm sure that's real life. Oh, there you go. That's awesome, man. Congrats. That seems like a uh, dream job for many. Alright. Let's go ahead and go to Warehouse 7 to Sioux Falls. Freight only again. Should be delivering meat. Good. Now, the one thing I am a little concerned with is not delivering enough cattle to the warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and double up on this guy to make sure we don't run out of meat to export here in Omaha. Let's see what else Omaha needs. Nothing but beer as of right now. Ooh. Okay, so we can export beer from Rock Island. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to set up a freight only train Come on, station over from Rock Island to Omaha. There you go. Loading up beer. So we are delivering grain, cattle, corn, meat, and beer. The only thing we don't have is logs for this level. Which logs are right there. Omaha just grew, so now it needs more, or will need more stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and connect logs to Omaha. Since we want to continue growing the city. And before I do that, let's see if we can buy some more of my wonderful competitor. Actually, I may pay off a bond. Let's, I'll pay off a bond before I do that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Coaster. Screw those competitors, man. I don't need a chief engineer, so it's kind of pointless. I could also do an express line from Rock Island up. I guess I may end up doing that at some point, but. Let's see how we're doing on task. We could deliver four passengers, which that's not a whole lot, unfortunately. Just because it says it needs wood, I'm going to go ahead and deliver wood. We already got the. Uh, Station set up, so let's run some track. We'll run it by the vegetables. We can always add that into the mix when the time comes. Again, you probably don't have to do dual track. 
keep saying that over and over again, even though I, I'm still doing it. Pretty sure it's storming outside my house. Either that or it's like super windy. That's awesome, Drew. What what are your hours like when you're on a train? Is it limited? Like do you can you only do like a six, eight hour shift, or is it do you do a nine hour shift? How does that work? I feel like you'd have to be more aware and get more breaks doing that type of work. Cause you have so much I guess there would be like more safety concerns is what I'm trying to get to. So at the warehouse, we do need to make sure that it accepts logs. We'll go ahead and do that. When Omaha grows to 40,000, we may start making lumber or doing something similar to that. But for the time being, let's go from cook chopping to warehouse seven, freight only. There we go. And as soon as Omaha needs more stuff, we'll start delivering more. But until then, And start looking on the train side to see what we can upgrade. That would be nice to get this guy right here. Or even this guy mixed. And just replace all the locomotives. We're almost to the point where we can pay off a bond... Let's see, what is this? Don't need to reduce. I don't need that. Actually, I could do that to where I gain more innovation points. Might do that. All right, Omaha is growing. That's important. Let's see, are we overloaded on anything? Not particularly. Doing pretty good on everything right now. Let's go ahead and pay off one of our bonds real quick. Only because we can get a higher bond, which is the whole point. Well, it's not much higher of a bond, unfortunately. Kind of just moving cash around is all we're doing to gain a little bit more. Let's see how much we can buy if we did buy. Uh, we can buy another 25%. I would say that's worth it. So now we own 50% of Trisha Jones. We're still not transporting a whole lot of passengers yet, but I know we're growing the cities, which is important. I think I might double up on those trains going back and forth, though. It's Toledo to Indianapolis, Warehouse 3 to Warehouse 4. Oh, no, no. What bad luck. Why is it taking Grand Rapids to Toledo? Oh, okay, it's going that way. I was like, why is it taking that route? Let's go ahead and clone these guys. I don't really care if I'm losing money. I just want more people going back and forth, so. Keep buying some more stock. Can almost buy another 10%. Yeah, 
I'm reading that, Drew, real quick. Seven hours to eight and a half. Between the three, four, we have 20 minute mill. Whoa, that's it? Oh, whoa, where's the fun without a bit of cheating, huh? Oh, she's stealing stuff from me, huh? Take it from me. Be careful who you let work together. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like, uh, it's almost abusive. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I thought you guys would have a lot more breaks than that. I was not expecting that type of answer at all, which is kind of crazy. Alright, Omaha is still growing, but it's not requesting more demand for anything until it hits 30,000 citizens. Which, what are we at right now? Does it say 24... I mean, we're delivering everything we can to there. I don't know what else to do. Other than exporting, do we have a lot of meat to export? Yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and connect to Kansas City right now. And before that, let's buy some more of a competitor. Alright, we own 65% now. You are cordially invited to the opening ceremony. Just trying to connect to more cities so we can export more meat is all we're doing right now. All right, little singer, take care. Definitely appreciate you coming on to watch again. It's always nice to see you. What up, Manuel? Yeah, man, I love this game. Railway Empire, it's definitely uh, reminiscent. I think David had mentioned it, of uh, Railroad Tycoon, uh, back in the day. It's definitely a harder strategy game to play than a lot. Um, you know, I've played Transport Fever all the way through the campaign, and it's night and day. This, this game is much, much harder than Transport Fever to play. I think I kind of got the hang of it, but this is only Chapter 3. Um, but starting out on this game, it's a whole lot of trial and error is the only thing I can, or the only way I can actually put it. And that's for the better. I mean, you want a game that is hard to play. You don't want something that's too easy, especially a game like this. You want a little bit of challenge, in my opinion, which is more than welcome on my end. Yeah, there's so many strategies you can do in this game. It's just... I wouldn't say mind-boggling, it just makes you think kind of outside the box a lot of times. But highly, highly recommend the game. There's very few games that do it like this. It's definitely worth your money if that's the question. Uh, basically, I mean, if you're asking what to do on the game, you just have to follow the task on the campaign missions or the chapters, it tells you exactly what you have to do. And it's up to you on how you want to do that, so to speak. I don't want to buy the meat industry. As you see, we're working on transporting 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha, and we're buying one of the competitors. Now, if you don't complete the task in time, or if you don't complete the task really early, you'll get like a green check mark or a red check mark. And for either of those check marks, you will not get the top rank. So we're trying to get the President's Medal in this game right now, which is, it's level 30. It goes from 1 to 30. Level 1 is the lowest. Level 30 is the highest you can get. Uh, so I'm pretty much live streaming, playing this, trying to get level 30 right now is what we're trying to do. Uh, that's good to know, Drew. Good to know. Okay. Probably should have got a caboose a long time ago, but here we go. Increasing passengers. That's what we want to do. And I have the other one under the company 
right here to gain more. I should, oh, I should have got this one first. Oh well. We'll get that next. The Moines grows, not Des Moines. I learned that today, guys. Thank you. You learn something new every day, right? Is there any other little... Go out to Fargo to deliver more if we wanted to. Also, Fayetteville's out there. Columbia. What up, the Batman? Thank you for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. Man, I still don't have 30,000 citizens, though, which is kind of strange. I thought I had a lot of things coming there. All right, let's get this so we get more innovation points to unlock more items. And I think right now we're at almost 50 trains. We definitely want to buy a competitor sooner than later. I don't know, should I pay off a bond first and try to get a higher bond? No, I'll just keep buying. Buying this lady up. Let's buy another 15%. We just need 20 more... Or 20% more to buy out Trisha Jones. We're pretty close on it. Don't have a whole lot of trains, but you can see our company value is quite a bit more. And the amount of track that we laid is quite a bit more than our competitors, too. You see, I could probably double up on a lot of these trains that are running to make more money, but I'm more into expanding than optimizing at the moment. And by doing that, it makes it easier to complete the task as you go along instead of just focusing on a small area. Otherwise, we would have never got up to Chicago to eventually expand to Rock Island and so forth, so forth. This is the one we gotta watch or keep an eye on, though. Okay, we're at 30,000, which means we need sugar now. And the good part about it is we have sugar right there. And we have an, one more spot at our warehouse to add sugar. So this is relatively easy to add. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Small train station. And I wanna add it before that. Let me see if I can get it down here. That way we don't have to add another supply tower. Simply just put in the signals and we are ready to rock and roll on this guy. I'm only going to put two signals in right there. Again, freight only. There we go. We got sugar going to Omaha. Again, Omaha is expanding slowly, which creates more passengers. We're only at 12 of 100, which is a little bit of disappoint or disappointment. So we just want to keep expanding this station as much as possible. Toledo is pretty much expanded. Let me go down just to see, because I'm kind of curious. Yeah, look how big Toledo is where we started. That's pretty insane. And of course, warehouse is overfilled. Not a whole lot we can do on that. It does need cheese. does need liquor if we wanted to expand it even more along with these other items. But we got plenty of passengers here. Come on, budge your station over a bit. There's enough space here for the two of us. There's only three waiting to go out to Omaha. technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't it? It does need a passenger route from Toledo to Grand Rapids. I don't know if it has it. Let me just try setting it up as passengers and mail only let's see what happens oh, no it's not full that's strange i'm actually going to delete well, i'm not going to delete it I'm just curious so if you click on toledo the express goods said from grand rapids there's 19. it's per week so maybe we already have one train running that could be the reason Yeah, I'm going to delete that train we just set up. I think there's already a train on that route is the reason. I 
I've built a new factory right next to your station. You are cordially invited to the opening ceremony. Have to build an attraction in Omaha soon? I think we got a, the attractions down here. We got a long way to go for that. Unless there's something else you can do in the meantime. So as far as I know, you have to have 60,000 people in Omaha, which we have all the goods. Oh, it needs cloth now. I don't know why it needs cloth all of a sudden, but... Who do we have making cloth? I forgot. I think it's down here somewhere. Warehouse 3. Is there anybody making cloth closer by chance? It's cheese. You know what? I don't want to do that. Let me get rid of this. I don't need that line. If I can get one of these smaller cities to start making cloth, that would be the best option, but it doesn't look like anybody's doing it. So befriended the boss. She taught me everything there was to know. About that's a long the route to bring cloth up to Omaha. Unexpected happened yeah. to her. Jesus. She fell in love with a cowboy of all people, and then she moved to the west with him. Almost a twenty, though. And we are just about to be able to buy this lady out. So close to merging. And I guess the question is, should we keep her or get rid of her? I, you know, I don't know the answer to that either. Yeah, we're so close. Look at that. I say we just liquidate her to try to buy out the other lady is what we should do. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's been hot down here in San Antonio. I mean, we got some thunderstorms right now, but. Come on. You know you want to get up there in money. Let's go. Yeah, since our company value doesn't make any difference, I'm just going to liquidate this girl and try to buy out the other one as soon as possible. There we go. So let's go ahead and liquidate everything for $4 million. And what we can do is pay off her bonds but it should allow us to get a higher bond not much but and now we need to try to buy out this other lady so we need 18 million to buy her out let's see how much stock we can buy let's go ahead and buy 50 percent of her go ahead going into this business might pay off after all i also profit when these share prices increase <laughs> You can't go wrong investing in my company. So we could connect to a lot of other stuff and move things around, but... Let's see, what else can we buy? I could buy the caboose. Let's go ahead and hire all the train staff. So 41 out of 100, we're definitely moving pretty quickly. We're only 1853. Keep in mind, the very first task when we started had to be done by 1854. And we only have one task left, which is transporting the 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah, no problem, Manuel. Glad you are uh, hanging out to watch. Definitely appreciate it. Glad I have a few viewers watching. Hopefully this will help someone out there. It will be on YouTube edited at some point afterwards. But we're getting pretty close to the end. I think I've been live streaming. Jeez, I don't even know how long now. Probably almost three hours now. That's how long these, these chapters take. Which is a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing, but... So Omaha does need milk now, and there's milk here. I think I'm just going to run milk directly into the town because we're already filled up on the warehouse. So 
to do that's pretty easy. We just make a little spur off the main road or railroad right here. I'm going to make it directly sideways so we can connect it just before the supply tower in case it needs to get maintenance there for any reason down the road. All I got to do is add the signaling. And I'll do like to correct the other signals as much as possible. There we go. Now we got milk going to Omaha again. The more stuff going to Omaha, the better. We definitely want to increase. Uh, let's see. What do I want going here is the real question. Let's make cheese. I know they're making cheese in Kansas City, but let's go ahead and buy this. If we can, it will allow us to. Oh, there we go. So we'll end up making cheese there, and then we can deliver cheese to these other cities that they need to go to. It would be nice to be able to select one of these items for that. I'm not sure if we can do that or not, though. Maybe get rid of the logs and put cheese there instead. Ooh, cloth would have been a good one too, though. I think cheese is easier. I'll probably end up getting rid of this log route or making another warehouse for the logs to go to. Because we already have a line going to all these cities. And some of them will end up needing... Well, there's two people that have cheese, but some of them will need cheese to go out. I'll probably add Fayetteville and Columbia on there, too, if I need to for any reason. All right, check out our competitor. Go ahead and pay that off. Can I get a higher one? I wish the bonds would go up more, but they're not. There we go. Bought another 10%. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of our freight locomotives real quick. Oh, it's probably going to cost quite a bit. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, we need one and a half million to replace all our freight locomotives. Which we'll get there fairly quickly, but... We'll take a minute. While we do that, it'd be nice to ride with the train from Toledo to Omaha, just to see how it looks. Let's go ahead and ride along while we're just waiting for money to come up. We don't get a whole lot of leeway to do this, but it's pretty cool. So we're coming into Toledo right now and about to turn around. Again, we're pretty much just waiting for passengers to be delivered between Toledo and Omaha right now. And to buy out our last competitor, which is not really a required task by any means, but... Should turn around right now. That's probably getting serviced. Competition creates business, so my new station won't do any harm. Yeah, you're just building my station, lady. You can stop talking. I'm gonna buy you out. Dang, I don't know if this, the train's still getting service, or do I need to get out of the? I don't know what it's doing. I guess it probably needed a lot of service, is my assumption. Let me get out of the view just to see. Yeah, it's being serviced right now. 
such a long journey without the train being serviced, so it's probably taken longer than normal. Now, let's see. Get an influx of cash, that would be nice. There it goes, now it's leaving. So this is an express train leaving Toledo, headed to Omaha. It's like we do have a train in front, I have to wait for. Looks like a freight train right there. Here we go. Pretty cool. It tells you how fast the train's going. I think that's pretty neat. A little bridge over the freight line right there. I don't know why it stopped right there. <laughs> did we break down? I don't know. Oh yeah, we did break down. It's like there's no reason we should have stopped right there. Anyways, that was just a very small portion of the journey that takes all the way up to Omaha, as you can see right there. Okay, let's go ahead and replace the freight locomotives real quick. There we go. Did it break down again? Or is it the same breakdown? Looks like it, because it broke down here, now it's broken down again. Okay, I guess what I should be doing is I probably need to put a maintenance building in Omaha. I didn't think about that. Yes, guy, I do remember. I think we talked about that last time I was streaming. I have fond memories. Oh, I think you were telling uh, Crusher. Okay, never mind. I was like, no, you told me last time. I have fond memories of your old name, though. I don't know why. Like, your old name is permanently in my head. So, we do need vegetables and fruit in Omaha now. There's fruit right there, vegetables right there. I wonder if I can just put another warehouse on the side. I doubt it's gonna let me, but you never know. Oh, oh, it's so close. It's kind of cheap to do it that way, but it's letting me do it. What about this side? Oh. Okay. That's cool that we can do that. Now we got to connect it, which I think I'm going to connect it directly. Your building is stationed here. With bridges, which is kind of crazy. It's not the cheapest way to do things, but what's going on? Did I do something wrong? There we go. Like to do bridges, not tunnels, because tunnels get expensive. Ooh. Jesus. Look at that. 1.4 million to run that. 300,000. Still expensive. 400,000. <laughs> That's crazy. That's expensive. I'm going to run the cheap portions of the track. I'm not going to run the expensive parts double track.
All right. Tassic. Yep, remember that. Let's go ahead and do the signaling real quick. Not gonna put a whole lot of signals in either. I don't think there's enough for the train to turn around right there. In fact, I should probably just get rid of that altogether. go into right there freight only I do need to add in the fruit on here the maintenance building there we go fruits being delivered now we do need to get the vegetables being delivered as well it's probably gonna take another tunnel unfortunately which I don't think we have the money for. Okay, I need 162,000 to run that line. I'm not gonna do dual track, it's such a short space right there. I just need to put in a supply tower and then I'll put in some regular signals going back and forth. Let's see how we're doing on our task. So 41 out of 100 people so far from Omaha to Toledo. Getting pretty close. About halfway there. All right, let's figure out if we can put a supply tower anywhere along the route. There we go. We'll put a regular signal there. And a regular, regular signal there. All right, vegetables are going to be delivered to Omaha. So now we have vegetables and fruit going there. I feel like we need more milk going there. Let's go ahead and clone the beer train going. Clone the milk train going. I think now is going to be the time to try to buy out the other competitor, too. We need five million to pay her off or to merge. We are already over 20 million company value, 54 trains are currently running which is nice it's kind of like a spider web going out from Omaha trying to build it up as much as possible kind of curious what is it exporting out warehouse 7 to Des Moines Okay. Doubling up some of these cities going out. See what we're doing. 41 of 100 still. 
The next step could be making this, I guess, both uh, Toledo and Omaha have some type of signaling coming in. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. So we just want basically a terminal station. Coming out is all we need. There we go. This is a bit of overkill coming into this, but this will keep things from backing up at all. There we go. Those other signals are fine. All right. I don't think we'll have to change the line. Let me double check just one of the... Omaha to Toledo routes just to make sure that we don't have to change anything. Let's make sure. So set up rail line. Let's make sure that everything is good. Yep. We are 100% good. That's good. Still, basically, each train or each train is bringing one passenger in, which is what we want. Do we really need to upgrade again on the freight? Probably not. I think we'll do this one next once we get 200 innovation points. Maintenance standards looks pretty good. We just need a lot of stuff coming in to Omaha is really what we need. I think may or it may be the time to do a um, signaling station on this side too. We'll let these trains go, but I don't mind deleting like this train, but I don't want to delete that train with the passengers on it. Oh. Thank you, Itch, for that. Just that's a good uh, good point right there, actually. <laughs> Waiting for that to end. Yeah, let me do that first. That's super slow? important. Thank you for that. Good catch as well. Let's go back to this. I think this, I should have probably done this side first, but. Should be over 50 now. Yep, 57 out of 100, which is good. Hoping that train would leave before any more trains come down. Please head on out. Bye bye. I need to get past the supply station or the uh, supply tower right there. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted. I will reset that train up here in just a minute. Uh oh. Okay. I just moved my view. I thought I deleted something else. I was like, no, it's not good. I don't 
know if I should leave that supply tower there. Probably. I guess I can. Not really a huge deal. And we'll go ahead and add the maintenance building here as well, since I forgot on the other one. Yeah, no, that was, that's definitely a good catch right there, because I wouldn't have caught it until I had major problems. So I appreciate that. Almost 200 innovation points to reduce our maintenance, which will help us greatly. Let's see how much more we can buy of our good friend, Von Pump. About another 10% and I'll get some more money before I buy anything. An exquisite investment opportunity that I'm not going to waste. So close. We should pretty much be hitting the hunter pretty quick at this point. I think each train will give us a few passengers and we got a few running. I did delete the uh, white breeding to Omaha, so we definitely want to double up on that. So, if you ask me, bickering employees should be put in the uh, car how do I with just a fire him? You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. I just lost what I was doing. Where is... I'm looking at the wrong side. Go back to... Omaha. I need to find... There we go. White breeding. Of course, this guy is just about to load up. I hate having two trains going back to forth. I want to spread them out, so... I know I deleted this train when I was setting up that station. I need to go ahead and clone it, but I'm going to wait until it gets about halfway down the line here. Quite a bit of traffic. Go ahead and clone it. Take a while to load up, anyways. Here we go. Let's go ahead and accelerate the train maintenance, which will help out quite a bit. Ooh, that's not good. These guys are probably overloaded with wood, yeah. I don't really know who needs wood offhand. Maybe Chicago. Let me show you how it's done. Chicago could definitely use a lot of lumber, actually, and iron for that part. Let's see. Is this guy overloaded? Nope. Let's go ahead and add wood down here. So I need to connect warehouse six to warehouse five. Go ahead and do that. Try to make the uh, signals look a little bit better, a little cleaner. I don't know if you guys can hear the, uh, it's definitely thundering outside my house pretty bad right now. I'm sure it's not probably translating to the mic, but. Where are you at, David? Are you in, you in Texas too, or you, can you hear it through my mic? All right, let's go ahead and set up a line. So, warehouse five to warehouse six. Freight only.
I'm gonna get rid of one of these going back and forth too. So, not that guy. Let's get rid of this guy right here. Now, if we can get iron up there and coal, they can make tools which can be exported. It's worse how warehouse six is already overfilled. I had to create another warehouse. It's not a huge problem, but there is the iron. I don't know. It's a whole lot of work. Do I want to do it? Do I need to do it? Probably not. Like one of your 65 out of 100 people that's all we're waiting for right now we're in 1854 so we literally have what is that 17 years about to get the 100 passengers i think we're going to do it here in the next probably five ten minutes at the most is my assumption i think more importantly i'd say we buy this lady out though because she's annoying me to to no other extent Play the bond game right now. Get bigger bonds. Let's see what we can buy from her. All right, we're pretty close. We need 16 more percent to merge with her or buy her out. Excuse me. Add another train to deliver more cattle. Pretty lucrative line right there. No, Manuel, it's a, it's a single player game. As far as I know, I don't think it's multiplayer. I can check when I get out of here, though, that we're getting pretty close. Oh, yeah, see, we're almost at 75 out of 100, so it's going to check off here pretty soon but as soon as i get done i'll actually check to see if it is but I, i'm pretty sure it's single player only this would be a really cool well i don't know the games are so long you know to play a multiplayer game for someone to stick around that long through a game like this i just don't know how that would work it would be cool as hell though i'm still waiting for train sim world to be multiplayer crusher what about that i know they said originally that was going to be multiplayer but it hasn't happened as of yet I don't foresee them making this game multiplayer. Oh, I do need a coal mine. I don't want it though. I do think Train Sim World will be multiplayer at some point. I should have kept focusing on Toledo. Bringing more and more stuff in here like the salt and paper tools and everything else. See how big, big I can get that city, but we're kind of at the end of the line either way. So close to being able to buy her out. Ten more percent and we will have... Beatrice Bone Pump bought out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be like the Fight Club. That'd be awesome. Yeah, the game, this game, the maps are pretty big. I mean, each of these towns can accept goods like Toledo. And I haven't even maxed out Toledo, so... You can literally take a town like, well, Nashville's pretty big, so is Memphis now, but like Columbia right here, you can turn this from this into something like Toledo if you want. Omaha actually started out like Columbia, so I've been kind of building up Omaha a little bit to the point where I could start making my own factories for different things right here. 
I don't get into the whole buying things up in the game so much. It does help, but it's so expensive early on. And here's the problem. When you buy, like, let's say I own this cattle ranch, right? And I own the meat industry where they're making the cattle into meat. The problem is for me to buy this industry is, for one, it's expensive. Look, $1.6 million right now because it's making money. But to upgrade it is even more expensive. And you can see this farm right here is level 3. For me to upgrade that to level 3 at the beginning of the game is super... It's almost impossible because it costs so much to do that. So it's pretty rare that I actually buy the businesses that I'm doing. Unless it's solely to increase my company value, which is pretty rare. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Alright, let's see if we can buy her out if we're pretty close to buying her out. So close. Five more shares. Let's take a look at the task. 93 out of 100, so we are going to check that off any second now. I'm going to hope for level 30. We'll see what happens. What up, Rainbow Spec? How's it going? Uh, let me see if I can. Omaha, can I build an attraction? That I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I should have done an attraction down because I did a uh, either a university or museum. I should have done an attraction down in Toledo, which that's my fault. I probably would have been done now had I done that initially. I mean, I've I've streamed Train Sim World a few times. I've even had the developer. Or uh, the guy, what's his name, Chris, that works for the developer, come on my stream a few times in the past. Haven't live streamed Train Sim World in probably, Jesus, a month or so. And I rarely, rarely live stream. I need to get back into it, though. Hey, David, I know you're on YouTube. It says nobody's watching on my end. Does it say how many people are actually watching on YouTube on your end or not I'm curious because I have like I don't know about 12 people on Twitch right now which is pretty accurate but it doesn't tell me what I have on YouTube all right look at that 99 out of 100 so the very next train will complete this chapter which is chapter 3 Ooh. That was weird. Delicate little things. I just can't say no. Yeah, I'm gonna merge with you. Yep. And we're gonna liquidate everything. Thanks, Got an achievement, 1850. I'm not sure what that is. It says training day. All without lifting a finger. However, I'll be staying in the area because I just want to see how your investment vaporizes. So, we literally have 5 million in the bank. We bought both competitors. We have no bonds out. We're worth $27 million with 60 trains running right now. 8,257 miles of track. And we literally just need one person to go from Toledo to Omaha, which that will pop any minute. Well ahead of schedule. Look, 1854, oh, we almost did all of the tasks before the very first task had to be completed. We're in 1855 now. <laughs> so literally, we could have completed all the tasks before the first one was even due, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Uh, yeah, Rainbow, I'm in uh, San Antonio still. Have not moved. I've moved houses a few times. I still have a place downtown and have uh, another house as well. So, let's see. Do we have any trains coming into Omaha with passengers? No. There it is, right there. And we may have one coming into Toledo as well, but as soon as this one hits, it should be the end of the, the chapter, which is nice. What's the OG T-Mag Studio like, where you can see everything behind me, not the, uh, the wonderful green screen? The OG T-Mag Studio was like me and Bree Bree in an open room with the worst echo in the world. 
That was the bad thing about it. Thank you, David, for that. So it says two on your end. Yeah, it says zero on my end, which is kind of strange, but I guess it's neither here or there. All right, it should pop right here. There we go. This chapter was a success, but it's not a success unless we get the very top level, which is level 30, one of 30. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Crusher, that's true. That's cool, Rainbow. Yeah, I do remember taking... I I literally counted it. I don't drink like I like I did back in the day, but... It was like 17 Jaeger bombs in a night. Like, you know, it was spread out over a few hours, but literally 17 shots. I'm surprised I didn't have a heart attack that night with so much Red Bull. It's crazy. Those were the good days, though. Or the bad days, depending on how you look at it. Previously viewed with skepticism... Now seem to be within touching distance. Let the video finish out real quick. Oh, Outlast. That's still the scariest game. I don't think I could play Outlast sober. That's how scary that game was to me. Like being drunk. I had to be drunk just to get through it. Alright, what do we get? There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I've been trying for. That's chapter three of Railway Empire at the very top level possible. You can see, and I challenge you to do better than me, which probably isn't too hard to do, but five years, one month, company value of 28 or just over 28 million, 61 rail lines, 39 stations, 8,257 miles. Keep in mind, I did not keep both of my competitors to bump up these numbers. This is solely trains and routes that I laid myself um, but let me go back to the main menu I'll just show you guys real quickly yeah there's no um, multiplayer on there but now I have the wonderful president's medal on chapter 3 and I'll be doing chapter 4 next hopefully you guys like watching this on live stream instead of me just recording it and throwing it out there on YouTube I like or I enjoy being able to talk to you guys I think that's awesome thank you David Crusher everybody else that showed up throughout the course yeah chapter four I have not done whatsoever it'd be my first playthrough of it I'll probably figure out how to start it and see what the tasks are and then actually do it but I won't play through it all together um, but I'm going to bed now it's almost 11 20 p.m. here I gotta work in the morning I actually have appointments in the morning so I gotta go shave and get cleaned up real nice like anyways thank you guys so much if you are watching this on youtube please uh follow me at twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer and come chat with me on my next live stream and for all of you guys who hung out i definitely appreciate it again i'll see you guys on the next one don't die and cheers don't you know